guys and welcome back to the 6 Flat team today i'm gonna be doing something a little different than what we normally do on this channel i'm gonna be showing you guys how to get fate client on your minecraft bedrock edition so let's get into the video <laughs> So the first thing you want to do is, in my last video, I put a link to the fake client. So, if you go into my description, you just click fake client download and it takes you to this link where you can download fake client. Now I promise everything on here is safe, I've done it multiple times and there's no viruses. It's going to say it's a virus because most viruses use DLL files and has like similar code but I promise it's not a virus that it is a hundred percent safe I know hundreds of people that use it okay so now you go down here and you download the fate injector you just click download okay latest injector and you press download we're just gonna leave that there for now next we are going to download the fake client DLL and texture packs right here Bam. now it's gonna say this type of file can harm your computer do you want to keep fake client.dll anyway you press keep and now you get the .gu minecraft pack and it should take you into minecraft and it's gonna load and do it all by itself so you don't really have to do anything except a couple things so I'm gonna show you that right now I'm not gonna edit this video at all so I can show you exactly how to do it okay so what you want to do is it said fail to import fake client GIL. It's because I already have a duplicate pack. But for you guys, it will not say that. So we go into settings, global resources, and we have to enable our pack. Now this um, you have to download that as well. I'm gonna put that in the description below. It is basically so you can have better uh, CPS and the uh, WSD keys and the keys for the mouse look better, I guess. But we're not gonna enable that just yet. Now what we want to do. Is we want to make sure that this is the topmost one. If it's not the topmost one, uh, it's not going to work. So we're going to keep fake client in there. And um, we're going to open up the fake injector. Click open. It says Windows protecting your PC. Microsoft Defender Smart Stream prevented an unrecognized app from starting. Okay. It says running this app might put your PC at risk. Now, I promise it will not put any PCs at risk. I use this all the time and it is safe okay so now it should say minecraft.windows.exe up there if it doesn't then you can select it and we're gonna press select right here and right here fake client.dll it's gonna be in this pc downloads and i click open and i press inject process found now that process is found we'll go to minecraft right and we're just gonna go press back it's gonna save our resource packs. Then bam, we have fake. We got we got fake client. CPS counter, keystroke, show chords, HUD color, all this stuff. And you can like change it as you go. You have to keep this open. Don't close it when you're playing. Okay, so you got fake client. Now do not use this on the hive, as it is bannable. It's a bannable offense, but I used it multiple times on the hive with my alt account, and I don't, it didn't really do anything, so. Uh, use at your own risk. That's what I'm gonna say. So, let's say we want to open up Fake Client again, right? Every time you close Minecraft, um, and you know we shut off our PC, so and so, and we want to open up Fake Client again, it's not gonna work if we just open up Minecraft. I like to have a little Fake Client folder. That I like to have all my stuff in. Now it doesn't have any stuff right now. But we're gonna add it in. So, you know, you have to do it again. You have to go to the injector, open, yes, select, fake client.dll, inject. And it's going to say, can't find process most of the time. And you keep pressing eject, it doesn't do anything. What you need, so it's like, it lets you find your process, is two things. You have to make sure that Minecraft is open. So let's go ahead and open Minecraft. And enable the texture pack. That is one reason why it might not work. So make sure Minecraft is open when you're opening this. Or there's another reason. I'm going to show you the solution in a little bit after Minecraft closed. Okay. 
and on face setting C it says NA NA, it doesn't let me do anything because it didn't inject. So we go to here and we're gonna go into the inject again. We're just gonna open the injector, yes. Select fake client.dll open inject process found. See? But we have to make sure that's open. But see, and then there's there's the settings and stuff. But sometimes what happens is no matter what, it still says process not found. But I have a simple fix to this. We have to get a program. It's uh, by Microsoft. It's a verified program, so do not fear. And this is how you get to it. I'm put it down in the link below, but it's right here. DLL is injected, but nothing has happened. So you have to go come here. Right, and you have to download this. I'm gonna put in the link below so you guys can get to it easily. So you have to press the X64, you know, download it. I already have it, so I'm not gonna download it. But what you want to do is once it's downloaded, you have to press uh, fix or repair and then restart your PC and then open up Minecraft, open up faint injector. And then inject this, and it normally works like that. And yeah, that's um, basically how to use fake client. Um, I do recommend keeping it in a little folder like this, which I'm going to add right now. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.